Oh, that is. It might be a half dime. I don't think that's what that is. Oh, yeah, it's a seated. I got something big and round in this hole. Right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, no doubt. It's a cut real. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, that's the third piece out here today. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys. We're out here hunting at our uh, local Civil War and uh, plantation site. But anyway, right here in this hole, it's my first decent target. It's a little nameplate. It says Caroline Snow on it. All right, that's pretty neat. You can see it or not. All right, moving on. All right, in that hole is just a, uh, it's like a modern pistol bullet. All right, in that hole right there, some kind of giant gear. All rusted and iron, but it was a big chunk of iron, so it picked it up pretty good. It's a big old handmade brick right on top of the ground. You can see the lines in it where they scraped it off the top in the mold. Hi right, guys, right here by this tree. That's how they it's like a flattened musket ball. Round on that side and flattened. It's pretty heavy. Alright, that's pretty neat. Alright guys, way down there in that hole. Probably, uh... 8 inches. A little tiny thing, and I thought it was a bullet at first, but I don't think so. It's right here. It's like a little finial or something. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, first see how it looked like it might have been a bullet, but it's not, I don't think. Let me clean it up a little bit. I'll show you what it is. Alright, there it is. See, it looks like a little finial off something. I think it's pretty neat. Now right, we'll see what else we can find. Alright guys, right there in that hole by this uh, humongous tree. It's a uh, piece of flat lead that's been cut. Alright guys, I might have something good here. Down here. See that tree root? A big old tree right there. This grew around it. You can see where it grew right around it and it was wedged. I don't know if you can see it or not. Down in there. I had to pluck it out. I hope I didn't tear it up too much. But some kind of tag. Look at it right there. Oh, I might have scratched it up pretty bad trying to get it out of there. All right, I'm gonna clean it up and see what it is. It's got like a number on there. All right, guys, I'll have to look this up. No idea what it is. It's really heavy. It's some kind of tag. It's got the number 25 on the front, but on the back, I tore it up pretty good, trying to get it out of that uh, tree root, but it's got 25 on the back as well, and I scratched it trying to get it out of there. But anyway, yeah, it looks, it's really heavy, so I'll look it up, and uh, in a roundup, I'll, I'll try to tell you what it is. Show you guys this button before I mess with it. I didn't even know it was a button. I thought it was, but I wasn't positive. It's got a brick stuck to the back of it. See that? And then, it's like a brass button, two-piece button. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the front of it. But anyway, I think I'm going to try to separate it. Which I don't know if I should or not, but I'm going to take a look at it. If I do, I'll show it to you in the wrap-up. Alright guys, I think that's about it for today. On my way back to the car, if I find anything, I will show you. But uh, it's been a pretty good day out here. Just uh, detecting not a lot of good finds, but um, got that one tag. Alright guys, I'm out without food today, and uh, this is the uh, farm field we have permission for, and there's a uh, battle site over there. The farmer owns all this field, and he owns the woods on the other side of the uh, battlefield over there. So we may hit over there later, but uh, first decent find, just a big old chunk of uh, melted lead. Alright, we'll uh, see what we can find out here today. Alright guys, in that hole right there. It's really light. It must be a piece of coke or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, it gives a good signal. It must be what that is. It's really lightweight. Alright, a uh, buckshot. Alright guys, I forget where it was, but Al and I were just talking uh, about what the farmer had told him and said that there was arrowheads out here and Indian artifacts. And <laughs> lo and behold, there's a little uh, quartz tip. You can see the end's been worked. It's sharp on the end, but it's broken. It's not complete. 
So that's pretty cool. And we were just talking about that. All right, guys, we're right that hole. Piece of a pocket watch. The inside frame piece. This one's still got some of the silver on it. The plating, whatever kind of plating that is. All right, right there in that hole is a little. I don't know if you can see it, a little tiny, tiny ring. A little, I guess a grommet off something. Who knows? All right, right there in that hole is a little piece of metal with gears on it. It's interesting. Let's see if the rest of it's here. All right, guys, right there. It's like uh, something decorative. Let me uh, clean it up. And I'll show you in just a second. All right, right there. It's got flowers on it. It's a piece of uh, brass. That's pretty cool. Might have been a piece of uh, what Rocky found out here. Uh, last week all right guys i've uh, come out of the field to the edge of these woods and you can see how thick they are but um, i'm not in the woods i'm on the edge there's a button or something down here right there i don't know i'll clean it up see what it is i'll show you in a second all right guys i don't know how old it is it does say u.s army i don't know if you can see that or not it says u.s army it's like an underwear button or something I'll research it and let you know. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, real shallow. There's something right there. It looks like a reeded edge on it. I don't know what it is. I'm about to dig it up. Oh! 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 Look at that! Ah! I think it's just a game token or something. I don't know. Let me clean it up. <laughs> that was looking good. It says 100 on it or something. Let me, uh, let me clean that thing up. <laughs> that might be, uh, I really fooled on that one <laughs> guys this is a pretty cool find uh, it's not old i mean real old, but it's 1949 it says the kingdom of jordan 100 felis f-i-l-s so all right that's a pretty cool find that's kind of strange out here you know and i'd walk down this way earlier and stopped and turned around and went back the other way so all right here's a what is it or what is it oh, it's got screw where it would attach to something i don't know what that is all right, I was hoping this was a rosette, but I think it's a condom tin. It says Princess Pat, or something like that on it. All right, if I hold this up like this, maybe it'll change my luck. Hal's down there, got another Indian. He's got two for the day. All right, guys, right there in that hole, something with a stone on it. Look at that. A little pendant or something. Oh, yeah. Let me clean that up. I'll show you in a second. All right, guys, a little brooch. It's an awesome find. And uh, look at the back of it where the pin was. All right, that's pretty cool. All the stones are still there, too. I'll clean it up more at home. All right, guys, finally on the board with a uh, three-ringer. This one's smashed, too. Look at the top of it. It hit something. But you can see the rings on there. All right, that's an awesome find. All right, right down there in the holes. Looks like a uh, piece of a fork or a spoon. But it's thin brass, so I'm not positive. All right, guys, down that hole. I'm pretty sure that's a piece of a J-hook. A piece that slid down on the uh, on the wire part. All right, guys, um, we moved to a different site. Site. We have permission to that church, and there's a store all the way down there in a timber area. And then we got permission for this house. This is where a house used to be, and then in the future, house next door. But right down that hole. The 1960 Jefferson Nickel. That guy's in that hole right there. Got an old key. Guys, that right there is an old timber company vault. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. And that's the timber company store over there. So, we're looking around here now, see if we can find anything. Alright, guys, right there in that hole. Got this plate. It says property of plant something. It looks like systems, Savannah, Georgia. So it's probably uh, timber related for the timber company. So that's pretty cool. It's got some more writing at the bottom of it. I'll clean it up at home and see if I can uh, tell what it says. All right, guys, right there in that hole, this big old tree. I just found that uh, plate over there that says um, property of plant systems or whatever it is. It's another tag. It's got two two. 2-4 on it. I'll have to um, clean it up see if uh, it's folded over. As you can see where a strap would have went through there. 
So that's pretty cool. I'll clean it up and see if I can show you what it is. Alright, this is uh, ACL2224 on it. Not sure what that is. Alright guys, this is a wrap up of uh, three hunts over two weekends. One was at a plantation slash Civil War site. The other one was at a Civil War battle site. And then the other one was at a uh, old town that was founded in the late 1800s. And it was founded due to a lumber mill that's in the area. So some pretty neat artifacts and relics from that area. So this is uh, all the trash. Um, I dug most of this. Some of this is other guys' trash. I threw it in my trash bucket. But done a ton, ton of trash. Nothing real notable here. I mean, I did find a, a shoe, horseshoe. Changed my luck a little bit when I found a ton of aluminum. All these bullets. These are modern. Just tons of bullets and little tiny small ones. I had the dais set in um, uh, dais fast. Just finding all kinds of little bullets and stuff. A few pieces of, uh, well, a piece of modern pottery. Older, a little bit older pottery. Some of the old pink glass. Some of the stuff uh, I think Al found. But anyway, a bunch of brass. This is a bunch of coke that was found in that Civil War site. Um, uh, the dais was fine in this. I can tune it out, but I didn't for this hunt. And I dug a, several pieces of it. You can see back here. Tons of shotgun shells and modern ones. Old paper cartridges. And I'll show you the good finds. Alright guys, this is the best of it. Out at the uh, plantation slash Civil War site. I found this button. I decided to leave it like this. It's encrusted with a piece of brick, some concrete, but it's a two-piece button. It's a brass button. You can see it on there. Got this little nameplate. It says Caroline Snow on it. Haven't been able to find anything about that person. It looks more modern. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I left this in here. It's pretty neat. This is actually a jacket to a bullet, but it looks like it must have been in a fire because all the lead is missing out of the inside of it. I've never seen one like that. Like I said, it's modern. Probably 40. looks like about a 45. And this little, uh, I guess, finial. I thought it was a bullet at first, but cleaned off the dirt, and then it's a little finial. Would have went on top of something. That's pretty neat. And then got this. I'm pretty sure it's a cow ear tag. It was actually grown in the root of probably a 150, 200 year old oak tree. And the root had grown kind of around it. And I was able to pull it out um, without damaging the root. But the only thing is, is I did scratch it up pretty good on the back side. Trying to get it out. I had to use a screwdriver to get it out. But the front of it's in pretty good shape. I like that. I've never found one of those before. And then on to the uh, Civil War um, site slash home site. You can tell it was a home site as well. Some of the, uh, I guess, Civil War finds that I had here. This may be part of a um, J-hook, not positive. This is a J-hook that I found from another hunt, and it would have gone through there, and that's what it would have held, held it in the knapsack. And then I got a smash three ringer. That's pretty neat. It hit something right there, square on, flattened it. Guys, this bullet may not have been fired. I don't see any rifle marks on it. It's just flattened on top. But there's absolutely no rifling marks going around it, so who knows what happened to that one. It might have been damaged after it was dropped. Or, I don't know. It does look a little bit smashed right there, so I don't know if somebody would have hammered it or something like that. But anyway, it's still a cool find. Just a bucking ball. Piece of lead. I did find quite a bit of melted lead. I don't know if it was camp lead or something else out there. Got this flattened musket ball. Actually, I think this was from... I grouped it up here, but I think this was from the plantation slash Civil War site. And then I got this U.S. Army button. I think this is about World War I trousers button, as best I can find on it. This little piece here. A little piece of brass, not sure what it was for. This is little thin brass, but it looks almost like a spoon handle. It's all bent up. A spoon or fork or something else. I don't know. It's kind of odd. Never found one that thin before. This little elbow piece here. Piece of a pocket watch frame. A little uh, 
on a little knob off of something. It's got a little reading on the edge there. I kept this bullet. It's a modern bullet, but the way it's smashed is pretty neat with the steel jacket all smashed in, kind of gnarly looking. And then this piece here, which is pretty neat, it's got flowers like roses on there. And then a sunflower at the top. I think Rocky found one of these at the same site um, last week. Got this. At first, I thought this was a condom tin, but it's actually a uh, or a yeah condom tin, but it's actually a compact Princess Pat. Um, it was a cosmetic company, and it was a compact lid. This was pretty neat here. Got this um, the Kingdom of Jordan 1949 coin. And when I saw that reeded edge on there, I thought it was something else, but still a cool find. I like it out there in the uh, middle of that field. Got this um, brooch. Still got all the stones in it. So that's pretty neat. This bullet was in the bucket. I'm not sure who dug that. How might have dug that? It's an old bullet. Um, more modern. But it's neat. It's old. I'm not sure what type it is little ring there and then uh, also out in that same site started finding some Native American artifacts here's a piece of pottery I'll see if I can get a close of it it's got a design on there this one does as well it's got a little pattern on there and then this is a little quartz point it's not the whole thing it's just where it's broke off but you can see where it's really sharp on the edge and where it was worked so and that's quartz so that's pretty neat. And then on to the um, lumber mill area in the town that we found. I just got two coins out there, nickel and a dime, nothing special. An old brass key with a number on it. And then the best finds out there were these two plates. I found this little, this might be a baggage tag here. This says ACL, which stands for Atlantic Coast Line. And they bought Platt Systems in 1902. And this says local, which in railroad terms, that means short line, a short line railroad. And then probably the locomotive number, 2224. I'll do a little more research on that. I might insert a little, uh, another little video into this to show you guys a little bit more about that. This tag says, the property of plant system, Savannah, Georgia. Please return this holder with both special card checks as soon as possible. The plant system was founded by Henry B. Plant after the Civil War. Actually, it was founded in December of 1879 after he purchased the Atlantic and Gulf Railroad, Railroads. It also consisted of uh, the Charleston and Savannah Rail Railway that was in serious disrepair after the Civil War um, and wasn't actually repaired until 1869 to 1870. But anyway, it operated from uh, 1879 to 1902 when it was purchased by the Atlantic Coast Line. Um, so that's a little bit of history of the plant system. Yeah, doing a little bit more research on these, I did a Google search and I put in uh, antique um, baggage tags, railroad baggage tags, and several of these came up. They all have this slot in them where a leather strap would have went through there and they all say similar things on them property of and the rail line and then uh, they say local and then the um, engine number so these were both um, baggage tags so that's pretty neat um, both two different lines but they're related because plant systems was sold out to Atlantic coastline so that's pretty neat and uh, that's it I hope you uh, enjoy watching the video and enjoy these finds and I will see you at the next hunt